Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at animation nodes and how you can apply different materials into different phases of a polygon mesh. All right, so let's just get started. Uh, we're gonna be using, let's use Suzanne and jump into animation nodes right away. So basically the idea is, um, we have Suzanne here and we have material slots and for every object we can have multiple material so I'm gonna create multiple material material right away so this is all it's gonna be EV EV materials and let's just give it a different nice color this one is gonna be blue and green actually green okay save as random materials for face it's gonna be animation nodes a n so normally with with blender I think you go if you want to assign a different material so currently it's a just red color for everything if you want to give a different color you go inside and then one two three so select, select the face and then you assign the color that's if you are doing it manually so that's a that's cool but if you want to do it using animation nodes and it's gonna be procedural and faster let's say you want to randomize you know all different color into this guy you can do that so in our case, we want to create a new mesh actually. So mesh from object and then mesh output, mesh object output. Get Suzanne. So there are two. You can use this airdrop, eyedropper, and then plug into the mesh here, create a new target, turn on the mesh. They are on top of each other. Just use object transform output and move it. So this is our new monkey head. For this guy, we need we need to copy the material. So select this guy and select this guy the last. Control L links the material. So now we have the same material for both objects. We just need to randomize this guy. And it's actually pretty it's actually pretty easy. Just use material indices and range use a random number plug this into material indices okay doesn't work right away we need to turn this on so it's become multiple numbers and if i'm not wrong it should be kind of working okay we need to change the min and max because if we Look at this guy. Fill the number. The number needs to be between zero and three, right? This is float float number, but we can maybe convert float to integer. Oh, it doesn't work yet. Okay, doesn't matter. Look at this number. We want to generate a bunch of number, and each one represents the the indices or the polygon indices, polygon index number. For Suzanne. Suzanne, how many polygon face does Suzanne have? Uh, Suzanne have 500 faces. Okay, cool. So we need to make this 500. You can tell that you can also use a uh, mesh info. So mesh info goes in there and then polygon indices goes in here just get the length so now no matter if Susan um, number of polygon get changed this will always work so yeah that's pretty much it actually but uh, uh, the cool thing of course with the with this uh, version of blender 
each material is a nice PBR and it's also a nicely view on the 3D view. So if you go to the shader editor and select this guy and play around with the material. You can play around with the with the metallic roughness and it's gonna update really really nicely as well. If you especially if you go to EV render and you can really control the metalness and things like that and then also make it like emitting you can play around with emit so let's make the yellow one instead of just principal psdf we make it emission uh, like become emission so that's also pretty handy because you can make it glowing Yeah, blue blue is not really glowing, but uh, if you increase the strength, it's kind of glowing. It is actually emitting, so if I'm not wrong, it's emitting if it's a, if it's a cycles. It's not really emitting if it's EV. I don't think, but it's kind of giving the illusion of emitting material. Let me try. It might crash, but so this this guy actually emitting. See, turn off the the light, and you can see here if you randomize the seed while playing back, randomize the seed and yep it's changing all right let's get back to ev cool oh with ev also if you want to change the seed just play back the animations while you're changing these attributes Maybe that's a blooming much, so decrease the blooming. Not too crazy with that. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, still, I'm getting used to Blender 2.8 and also animation nodes. It's like really powerful on Blender 2.8. And now today we learn how we can randomize uh, assignment of materials into different polygon indices of a mesh, and you can do this for for anything actually. So if you have like like a grid, for example, this grid needs to also have material from the monkey. So if I stop this, select the grid, select a monkey head, Control L. Get the material. Now we have uh, the material, and if we select our grid, maybe I I just select this guy. And update. Now we have our grid with random color. Maybe it's a good idea to work on this mode. Yeah, this one actually updates on the fly. Not when you're rendering. If you're rendering and you want to update, just have the playback running and changing the value. But that's not recommended because you want to you want to work with this uh this this mode, I think. This is the look dev mode. So with look dev is kind of you still have all the visualizations and but you can change all the stuff like that okay so you have the tool now to random to give like a random color on an object and yeah i think that's pretty fun 
the funny thing is we are not getting any red color on this guy wonder why maybe we need to use like a proper math here float math and um, I think it's just smooth or float I keep forgetting there's one way we can okay round okay round I always forget round with round we, do, we cannot use multiple value yet so we probably need to use snap I was expecting to get a bit of red this means we don't have zero we probably need to use minus one No, we don't have any red. Oh, that's weird. Okay, because red is now because I, I'm using the wrong value there. Or they both material number two. That's interesting. Material number two should be yellow. Okay, so nothing wrong with this. We don't need to use snap. We can randomize this. Okay, cool. Now everything works correctly as expected. Alright, hopefully you find this useful. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.